So we're just going to do kind of like a quickie so you all get an idea so we're not so worried, okay? A person in cardiac arrest can die within 10 minutes, wow. right, if steps are not taken to save their lives. So even if you're not totally comfortable or confident, it's better to do something than nothing at all. Just do something, right. okay? So CPR is as easy as one, two, three. The American Red Cross uses a mnemonic, check, call, and care. So the first thing, check the scene for safety uh -huh. and check to see if the victim is unconscious or not breathing. So how do you do that? Well, they recommend you just go over to the victim, tap them on the shoulder. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay? If they're talking to you, they're not in cardiac arrest. Okay. Okay, so no, no, I'm fine or, or whatever. But they don't respond, it could be cardiac arrest, right? Next, you want to call 911, mm -hmm. right? The biggest mistake, people over automatically assume someone else is calling 911, right. right? A lot of people are going to have their phones out filming nowadays, Ooh, unfortunately. Put your phones away, call so, 911. Right, it's a good idea even to point to someone and say, you, like so they know, call 911. So no one's thinking, oh, the other guy's calling. That's okay, right? right? All right, so the third, start doing CPR, hands only. Now, we used to have the other technique, yep. hand to mouth. CPR used to be taught with that combination, chest compressions and mouth. And it was, you know, how many brushes, compressions to how many breaths. So we kind of simplified it. So today, the American Red Cross recommends hands only CPR for untrained bystanders. So here's how you do it. You want to get on the ground with me? Here we okay, go. so we have a little mannequin here. So. You're gonna lay, kneel opposite the person, they're laying this way, you're gonna be on the side like this. And you're gonna put the heel of your hand on the lower portion of the breastbone. So this is the heel of your hand, right? Mm -hmm. Kim's gonna do yep. it, put, go put your heel in your hand like that. Right there. A little higher. Right here. Right there, right, of, of the, the sternum, right, gotcha. the breastbone. Right there. You're gonna put the heel of the other hand on top of that hand and interlock your fingers, just like she's doing, okay? Now notice right now, she's doing it right. She's leaned over the person, so she's straight up and down on the body. So her arms are going to be nice and stiff, right? She's over it, and then she's going to do an up and down motion pretty fast at about 100 times per minute. People go, oh, I'm worried. I'm going to break their ribs. Don't worry about it. You're saving their life, okay? Right. You break a rib. They're not going to die from that. That's the first thing. And, you know, you want to get this rate down because the compressions are going to be. So you go up and down, but I don't know how am I going to remember 100. You know, I know how you know how to do one thing. What's that? Sing. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to sing, row, row, row your boat and keep going. Okay. And each time you say a word, up row, and down. Row, row, row your, your boat, boat gently down, down the stream. stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. All right. Like That's butt. exactly okay. right. You got that rhythm? That person's going to wake up and be like, row, 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 row your boat. Row. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's right. And you're going to do that until a medical trained person comes along. Now, wow, yeah. really? You yeah. don't stop doing it? Don't stop. So, and what about if you get tired, Dr. Steve? Recruit somebody. 